Let's see how to set up GitOps with Arnest CD GitOps. For this, you will need a Git repository with your Kubernetes manifesto. Then we will install a GitOps agent inside a Kubernetes cluster. Whenever there is a change in your Git repo, GitOps agent will pull the change and apply those changes inside your Kubernetes cluster. Let's start with installing our GitOps agent. On your Harness platform, click on Deployments. In Deployments, click on GitOps. In your GitOps overview dashboard, click on Settings. To we'll start with installing GitOps agent, click on GitOps agent. Select New GitOps agent. Here it will ask you about Argo CD instance. As we are doing fresh installation, we will select first option. Give your GitOps agent a name. And select the namespace where you want to install it. I will go with default namespace. Click on continue. Now you can copy or download this YAML and apply it inside your cluster. I will copy this YAML and save it locally and then apply it into my Kubernetes cluster. Once you apply the YAML, it will create all the required resources for GitOps agent. Once all the resources are ready, you can see them reporting on Harness platform. Once everything is green, click on finish. Now you can see your GitOps agent reporting on the platform. Now let's add a Harness GitOps repository in our next step. Click on Repository, select New Repository, click on Git. Give your repo a name. Now in GitOps agent, select the GitOps agent, click on Apply. In Git repository URL, you will need to insert your git repo URL where your Kubernetes manifests are stored. Copy the git repo URL, paste it here, click on continue. For credentials, I will go with first option. In connection type, I will select HTTPS and I will use anonymous authentication method. Click on save and continue. Let's verify the connection. Click on finish. Now you can see your repository reporting on your platform. Now let's add a GitOps cluster. Click on cluster. Select new cluster. And next step, give your cluster a name. In GitOps agent, select the GitOps agent. Click on apply. Continue. Now in details, we'll use the same cluster where our GitOps agent is installed. Click on save and continue. Let's verify the connection. Now you can see your GitOps cluster reporting here. Now let's add a Harness GitOps application in our next step. Click on application. Click on new application. Give your application a name. Select the GitOps agent. Click on apply. Now let's create a new service. Give your service a name. Click on save. Now let's create a new environment. Give your environment a name. In environment type, select pre-production. Click on save. Continue. Now in sync policy, I'll choose the automatic sync policy with both prune and self fill properties. Now there are other properties as well which you can select. Click on continue. Now for your application source, let's select the GitOps repository. Click on apply. 
I want target revision on my main branch, so I'll select the main branch. In path, you need to mention path to your Kubernetes manifest YAML. For me, I'll store them at sample pipeline, my apps, app1 at this location. So I'll copy this path. and paste it here now click on continue for destination select the cluster you want to deploy the application in select apply also mention the namespace I am using default namespace for now click on finish now harness GitOps agent will sync the changes and apply them inside your cluster Now click on GitOps application. You can see your application reporting here. As our app is healthy now, let's step into it. Click on my app. Now here in resource view, you can visualize every Kubernetes resources created by your application. For example, deployment, services, and pods. In sync status, you can see status of your resources. And you can also check when did the last sync took place. In manifest, it shows your application manifest YAML. If you want, you can edit and configure it here in a declarative manner. In application details, you can see information regarding your source repository, your destination cluster, the branch, etc. You can also configure sync options and other policies. So now, let's make a change in our GitOps repo to see GitOps in action. I'll edit my manifest and change the replica count from 2 to 4. Now after committing, when the next sync will happen, the harness agent will detect the change and apply them in your destination cluster. Now in interest of time, let's speed up the process. What we will do, we will click on refresh and enforce a manual sync. Now as the agent detects the change, it will apply them in cluster. Now we can see 4 replicas running here. We can see more details about these resources from the platform itself. Click on one of the pod. Here we can see more details regarding resources. You can see past events, logs. These are actually live logs. You can also see resource manifest here. If you want, you can edit it from here as well. Now we have successfully implemented GitOps here. Thanks for watching this video. For more such content, subscribe Harness Community channel on YouTube.